pair of linear equation to variable class 10. Dear children, uh, we have already completed our exercise 3.4 and the last exercise it was giving you to solve the one, one of the algebraic methods being solved uh, for the pair of linear equation to variable. So whenever we start, we start with the general form. So this is a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equals to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equals to 0. And now uh, one of the one more methods which is cross multiplication methods as its name is cross cross multiplication multiplication methods. This is one of the algebraic methods and it is most suitable to do the pair of linear equation two variables which is having a unique value so for using any methods i advise always you to check which condition it is being followed so here this cross multiplication methods means this is also one methods to find out the unique solution for x and y and this is also called the algebraic method so in this cross multiplication you know what's the very very important is uh, we must know the formula and once we have a formula we will keep it, we will apply it and we will give the value of x and y. So we need to understand the formula of the cross multiplication method. We write just by seeing this general form, we write x here, y here and the y here. What we do normally actually for designing this formula we have some way so before uh, writing direct the formula it's very very important to say you how to generate the formula so that you can do the practices uh, for a while and you will have something so we'll write first very first uh, do one thing this is first we'll write the coefficient of y which is b1 b2 then coefficient this constant part c1 c2 then the coefficient of x a1 a2 and again this b1 b2 so what you keep to remember we'll start with the b1 b2 and we'll end with the b1 b2 the series you all will form here we'll write x here we'll write y here we'll write 1 and now you can form and you can design the formula you can design the formula that is you know uh, x upon we always start from here and that's why this is called cross multiplication this b1 c2 minus b2 c1 minus b2 c1 is equals to y upon again y upon we always start from here this is c1 a2 minus c2 a1 and the last is 1 upon this a1 b2 minus a1 b2 minus a2 b1 so this is the formula means that you could see this is simply the coefficients set as by using the coefficients and this is the one way to find out the questions by using the cross multiplication methods so uh, how will you all confident whether is it or not so for doing this we'll do a few questions for you from exercise 3.5 so that will help you to understand in a better way so in this exercise 3.5 uh, let us begin with the question the very first part of the question number one this is x minus 3y minus 3 is equals to 0 and 3x minus 9y minus 2 is equals to 0 i will not go for this question because i said you earlier the algebraic methods it would be very useful to find out the value of x and y so you will not have exact value for the first part because 1 by 3 1 by 3 a1 upon a2 is equals to b1 upon b2. So for unique solution, what we need to look for, we need to look for whether a1 upon a2 not equals to b1 upon b2 or not. That's the second part I'm going for you. Second part of the question number one. Second part of the question number one. That is 2x plus y. 2x plus y is equals to 5. 3x plus 2y is equals to 8. It could be seen here a1 upon a2 not is equal to b1 upon b2 so that we may go so the very first important thing is to keep this in a general form so this is 2x plus y minus 5 is equal to 0 3x plus 2y 
minus 8 is equals to 0. Now, as I said you, what we need to do? We need to do first, very first, we need to start with the writing the coefficient. So, it's better whenever you do the question, b1, b2. So, what is the b1 and what is the b2? Here, 1, 2, b1, b2. c1, c2, which is minus 5, minus 8. Then, a1, a2, this is 2, 3, and again it ends with the b1, b2, so this is 1 and 2. Now, write here x, here y, here 1. Now, we start with x upon this into this means minus 8 and write the sign of minus and this is minus 10. This is equals to y upon this into this means minus 15 minus sign and this is 8 to the 16 so this is minus 16 and is equals to 1 upon this is 4 minus 3. Now what we do? We will write here x upon minus 8 plus 10 it gives 2 y upon this gives minus 15 plus 16 1 is equals to 1. 1 will make equal this to this and now this to this. So the, the value for x and y is x is equals to 2 and y is equals to 1. So by this way you can use the cross multiplication method. So this is something about the question number 1 and this is something about the now the question number 2 uh, I am doing one part for you in question number 2 uh, this is also uh, based on the conditions as we all are knowing for the linear equation in two variables the second part it is for which value of k will the following pair of linear equation have no solution for no solution what is the condition we have no solution we have uh, a1 upon a2 is equals to b1 upon b2 not is equals to c1 upon c2 and the first part is for which values of a and b does the following pair of linear equation have infinite number of solutions so both the equations so i am doing a second part for you question number second with the question number two this is for which value of k will the following pair of linear equation have no solution so the format is for no solution, for no solution what is the condition we have a1 upon a2 is equals to b1 upon b2 node is equals to c1 upon c2. This is for a no solution and uh, what is the a1 here? This is 3y. What is the a2 is 2k minus 1. a1 upon a2 what is the b1 upon b2? This is, this is uh, 1 upon k minus 1 and not is equals to not is equals to what's the c1 c1 is minus 1 and what's the c2 c2 is minus in bracket 2k plus 1 so uh, what it is for which value of k so for which value of k what we can do we can equate this to this so this would be 3 into k minus 1 is equals to 2k minus 1 and this gives 3k minus 3 is equals to 2k minus 1 this gives k is equals to minus 1 plus 3 2 so the value of k is 2 if we will have this gives a no solution we don't have to bother for third condition what it is not the value of is equals to because this is very very important right and yes if if you want to know what's the not value so that will be 3 upon 2k minus 1 not is equals to 1 upon 2k plus 1 so do the same what we are doing with the sign of is equals to so this is 6k plus 3 is equals to 2k minus 1 so this is 4k not is equals to minus 4 so k definitely not is equals to minus 1 so these are the conditions and by this way you can do the question number 2 question number 3 is a direct question so that I am not doing for you and just will discuss something about the statement question so here in this exercise what you all need to do very first you need to generate the equation, you need to write the equation and yes, we'll solve by the cross multiplication method. So I am here helping you to just to form the equations and rest. I told you how to do the, the how to find out the value of x and y by the cross multiplication methods. So you can use you. Uh, a part of monthly hostel charges is fixed and the remaining depends on the number of days. 
So here, the same questions it is being that I have explained in the last video, in the last exercise. Although, here we like, let the fixed charges of first step be rupees x and charges for one day. Charges for one day. This is rupees y. Now, uh, this is, uh, it is when a student, it takes for 20 days for has to, so x plus one day it is y, so this is 20y and this gives is equals to what? Is equals to 1000. And what is the next? For 26 days, he is paying rupees 1180, so x plus 26y is equals to 1180. The children, uh, because it is introduced here the cross multiplication method, so I suggest you to go with the cross multiplication methods. For doing cross multiplication methods, first of all, what we need to do? x plus 20y minus 1000 is equals to 0 and x plus 26y minus 1180 is equals to 0. Now you know what to do. b1, b2 means 20, 26, then c1, c2 minus 1000 minus 1180. a1, a2 that is 1, 1 again b1, b2 20. 26 this is x this is y and this is 1 and go for the calculation part i don't do the calculation for you so this is first part of exercise 3.5 now this second fraction questions that you can do i am doing the third part of the question number four third this i am helping you to form the condition yes i scored 40 marks in test getting three marks for each right uh, answer and losing one mark for each wrong answer. So here we like, let the marks, marks awarded for, for right answer. That is, that is uh, X. No, it is, it is given uh, marks for each. Let the marks awarded for for uh, for each right answer for each right answer. This is three. It is given. Let let the number of right answer is equals to x. So total marks total marks is equals to what three x. Now it is. Uh, not here it is given this the marks already it is given we need to assume this total marks 3x the marks here it is given in the question the marks awarded the marks lose for wrong answer wrong answer that is suppose y oh, no it is given 1 let let the number of wrong answer wrong answer which is y so as per this the condition would be 3x minus y is equals to 40 this is the one condition and what is another had four marks been awarded for if this would be changed marks it is for four this would be the same so this is 4x 4x uh, and for losing two marks so this is minus 2y and h is equals to is equals to this is 50. So this is the condition for the third part. So do this fourth and fifth 